Have you ever wondered who the man behind the transformation of American Christian theology in the 19th century was? A hint to satisfy your curiosity. It was Horace Bushnell, a distinguished American congregational minister and theologian. Born into the humble household of a farmer in Bantam, Connecticut, on April 14, 1802, Horace Bushnell's early years were marked by hard work and a deep appreciation for nature. He was the sixth of ten children, and his early education was largely self-taught, a testament to his insatiable curiosity and zeal for learning. Upon reaching adulthood, Bushnell initially pursued a career in law. However, a profound religious experience in his early twenties led him to switch his focus to theology. This heralded the beginning of a journey that would not only shape his life, but also significantly impact American Christian theology. Bushnell attended Yale University, graduating in 1827. After his studies, he served as an editor for the New York Journal of Commerce, but his passion for theology could not be contained. He returned to Yale in 1831 to attend the Yale Divinity School, and three years later, he was ordained as a minister in the North Congregational Church in Hartford, Connecticut. In his role as a minister, Bushnell was known for his eloquence and his ability to connect with his congregation. His sermons were deeply thoughtful, often challenging conventional religious thought. His progressive ideas, however, were not always met with approval. His book, Christian Nurture, published in 1847, sparked controversy for suggesting that children should grow into their faith organically rather than experiencing a sudden conversion. Despite the controversy, Bushnell's influence only grew. His 1851 work, God in Christ, challenged the orthodox understanding of the Trinity and emphasized the moral nature of the atonement. This work further solidified his position as a pioneering figure in American theology. Bushnell's later years were marked by declining health, causing him to retire in 1859. However, his influence did not wane. He continued writing and engaging in theological discussions until his death on February 17, 1876. Now let's turn our attention to Bushnell's legacy. His contributions to American Christian theology are profound. He is often credited with moving American theology away from strict Calvinism and towards a more modern, liberal interpretation of Christianity. His faith was deeply personal, grounded in experience rather than rigid doctrine. Beyond his theological contributions, Bushnell's vision also extended to the realm of urban planning. He was instrumental in the creation of Hartford's Bushnell Park, one of the United States' earliest publicly funded parks. His belief in the importance of public green spaces for the well-being of society continues to resonate in today's urban landscapes. Horace Bushnell, a farmer's son who rose to become one of the most influential theologians in American history, a man who dared to challenge convention and in doing so, shaped the course of American Christian theology. His remarkable life and enduring legacy continue to inspire and challenge us to think differently about our faith and our world.